Kel Richards, welcome back to Credland. They miss you, I tell you what. Um, I thought ahead of tomorrow, ahead of Australia Day, we might look at the word Australia and its origin. OK, comes from Latin, from Terra Australis. There was this, uh, long before anything was discovered in the Southern Hemisphere, there was this kind of a imaginary land uh, below the equator in the Southern Hemisphere, which was given the Latin name of Terra Australis. Terra meaning land, Australis meaning southern, so south land. Uh, and it was, uh, but it was anglicised into Australia. And that word, I am told, even appears on Mercator's famous map in 1538. But it was only a, a name for an imaginary land. The man who actually applied it to this continent was Matthew Flinders. He did the circumnavigation around Australia, uh, 1801 to 1803, and he said we should call this continent Australia. Then the guy who picked it up and popularised it was Lachlan Macquarie. A couple of years later, around 1805, from Matthew Flinders' logbooks, he said, yes, Australia is a really good name. It is now Australia. And he kept insist insisting on that in all the letters he was sending back to the colonial office in London. So from Latin to Matthew Flinders to Lachlan Macquarie, that gave us our name. All right, well, another bit of news out today is the Doomsday Clock. It's now 90 seconds to midnight. Bit of history here. Tell us more. OK, it was invented by nuclear scientists in the 1950s at the height of the Cold War. Uh, there was a lot of fear of uh, huge nuclear devastation around the world. They used to call it MAD, M-A-D, mutually, uh, mutually Assured Destruction. So on the front of their professional publication, their academic publication, they started printing in the 1950s a clock face and the hand would move closer to midnight or further away from midnight, depending on whether there were nuclear arms limitation treaties or whatever. So they came up with the idea it's been well back from midnight for a while. It now sometimes includes things other than a nuclear threat. Uh, it, it can inc include, you know, climate theories and so on. But I would guess if they're saying 90 seconds to midnight, it's because of Putin. It's because Putin, in his war on Ukraine, has threatened to use nuclear weapons. Now, that's the biggest nuclear threat we've had in a long time, and that moves the hands up to a minute and a half to midnight. All right, let's see if we can get in one more. Uh, this is a bugbear of mine and is too for Adam, one of our viewers. He, he hates the phrase, I am in agreeance. He doesn't agree oh. with the word agreeance. Uh, it used to be agreement, but well, tell us more. Agreeance. Okay. There actually was a word called uh, agreeance, which was an ancient Scottish word 500 years ago. But the people saying agreeance today have not discovered a quaint old Scottish word and revived it. They're getting it wrong. They don't know how to turn the verb to agree into a noun, so they're getting it wrong. They don't know agreement, so they coin this agreeance. It's it's a non-word. It's a non-starter. It is what what is politely called non-standard English. Don't ever say it. Now, hey, remind me just quickly your website page. ozwords.com.au, ozwords.com.au. All right, that's it. Go there for your words and our words for next week. Thank you, Kel.